Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, family, come on in the room. Come on in the room. Let's talk about this situation. Because Pete seemed like he cannot get away from Kim Kardashian. He has tried. He has tried. He has tried. But he has failed miserably. <laughs> this joker set up him and got a tattoo of her embedded in his skin. And he cannot get rid of it. It's almost like it's permanent. Now, we're going to tell you about the method he used to get the tattoo in the first place. And I don't know if he really wanted to, at this point anyway, get rid of her. Because he may have physically gotten rid of her. But when his skin is still saying her name and the kids' names... That's pretty tight right there. That is pretty tight and up shit creek. But maybe he just like using his body to um, showcase the many women he's, he's had in the past. All right. But he can't seem to shake Miss Kardashian at all. And maybe she kind of knew that the tattoo that he was getting wasn't necessarily a tattoo. It was called branding. You know, branding is like. I wouldn't say hazing, but when you're in sorority, especially the men, they get embossed or branded with their um, fraternity's uh, symbols as a keepsake that they can remember, uh, I guess, for their lifetime, I tell you. Honey, I ain't trying to be in nobody's frat or sorority. only one I want to praise and pledge my allegiance to is the Lord. Jesus Christ, you hear what I'm saying, people? They can have all that sorority mess and joining up these elite clubs and st stuff of that nature. But, honey, let me see who wrote this. Hmm. I guess it was just an employee who wrote it uh, from CheatSheet.com. Okay. And they titled the article, Pete Davidson is stuck with the branding of Kim Kardashian's name for life. Yes, for life. For life. <laughs> okay. I want to have this moment for life. And that Nicki Minaj song. Uh, but anyway. Checking back into the article. It says Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian West. Romance officially ended a couple of weeks ago. To some the deterioration of their relationship was plain to see. But now that it is over. Many onlookers wonder what they will do in the aftermath of this public breakup. Hell, it ain't that. What you can do is just keep going on. Keep living a life. Keep uh, seeing people be interested in relationships. And, and full-fledged, just fully living life and doing your bucket list. Okay? If you're in the latter part of the years on this earth. You know, I'm talking about 70s, 80s. Okay? 70s and 80s. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it said, for Davidson, the big question is, what is he going to do with tattoos? Yes, plural. He got in honor of his new or his then girlfriend, Kim. The simple answer is to remove them. But that is, that is an option not available for the branding he got of Kim Kardashian's name. I'm like, boy, did she put you in a sunken place? <laughs> and hypnotized you and she branded your name into your skin honey she wanted you to remember her and her children forever and ever and ever yes honey 
Davidson tattoos have been part of his personal brand for the entirety of his time as a celebrity. While he was dating Ariana Grande, he got her signature bunny ears ink behind his ear, and they reportedly got matching tattoos together. Davidson got those bunny ears covered up after they separated, but that experience didn't stop him from getting more romantic art placed on his body. I guess he just liked to defile his body with all this stuff of names and, and symbols and signs. Boy, I tell you, boy, I tell you. Guess you hate you messed up. <laughs> and let Kim put you in that sock in place, allegedly. And you had to go get her name and her children's names branded on you. What a joke. What a joke, honey. And the hits just keep on coming, don't they, peep? But going back to the article, it says, During one of his many arguments with Kanye West, Davidson posted a selfie that let fans notice that he had Kim's tattoo on his chest. Kardashian later clarified during an interview that it was a permanent branding rather than a tattoo. But he did have other tattoos dedicated to her. He has one that reads, My Girl is a Lawyer. And Davidson also got the first initials of Kardashian and her four kids' names printed on his neck. Getting any sort of body modification related to someone you've dated for a few months is a questionable is questionable to some, but this is clearly a risk Davidson is willing to take. Okay. And it says somebody named Nine Honey wrote on Twitter during an interview with Ellen DeGeneres. Kim Kardashian has dropped a few bombs about her new romance with Pete Davidson, including him having two tattoos and a branding in her honor. Okay, Davidson can get the tattoos covered up easily if he chooses, but hiding or editing the branding would be a much more difficult proposition. Once completed, it is impossible to reverse. Branding is a type of scarification. They use burns or cuts to create scar tissue and the skin with a specific design. David Kim, a board certified certified dermatologist in New York explained the procedure in finer detail to Allure magazine. Once the skin is pierced by the scarring instrument, the tissue underneath breaks apart. Then, immune cells called neutrophilus, neutrophilus fills the area to prevent infection and help the tissue heal. Then, fibroblasts from collagen in the skin uh, and creates a scar to fill the gap. Kim concludes, historically, it's been used as a tool of expression and oppression of depending on the content and or the context. In some cultures, branding is used to represent a spiritual journey or a mark of passage within a community. By contrast, it represents a form of punishment for slaves by colonizers and the Romans used to mark criminals for the rest of their lives. Branding is safe when done properly, but the procedure or process does come with some danger. Since it, since it creates a deeper wound, most scarifications take two or three weeks to heal. And it is far more permanent than tattoos are. Branding scars can't be lasered off or covered with anything because the skin that heals over the design isn't healthy enough for another procedure. And no cosmetic surgery can completely erase the scar. Okay, Davidson has a few options to make the branding less noticeable. You may not be able to get rid of a branding scar, but you can lessen the pr uh, presence of them in a few ways. The visibility of all these options is de uh, dependent upon or dependent on a few factors, like the length of time since the branding took place, where it is located, and the size of the scar. Because the skin is too weak to handle a tattoo, a branding can't be covered up with new ink. It can be faded with topical gels or laser therapy, but there is no way to permanently remove a branding. So it looks like Davidson is stuck with Kim's name forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Yes, forever. While Davidson decides what he wants to do, he can spend the rest of his time focusing on his actual jobs as a comedian and actor. Okay. And then it goes on to say, Pete Davidson is known for his taste in women. He dated some of the hottest A-listers, as well as promising 
up in commerce. None have made quite the splash as Davidson's latest relationship. The comedian is Instagram official with reality star Kim Kardashian despite a 13-year age difference. The two are looking very serious. Davidson even has a few tattoos and other permanent body modifications dedicated to Kardashian. Although they may not be such a big uh, deal, according to Insider, Davidson has more than 70 tattoos. Okay, Pete Davidson has more than 70 tattoos. Davidson has said in the past that he's trying to get his tattoos removed. That doesn't mean he's not getting new tattoos, just that he is tired of some of the older ones. He definitely regrets getting some of his tattoos impulsively. Davidson started getting tattoos on his chest to cover self-harm scars. Okay. So he trying to say he hurt himself or he had a issue with loving himself. So he had to um, cut himself or something. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I hope he's see seeking help for that situation. But that's all that um, she, she had to comment about Miss Kim and uh, <laughs> Mr. Tattoo Man. Okay. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. Mr. Tattoo Man. Because he has done his body no justice by putting all that ink. Uh, and, <laughs> and then he went and got something branded. Where, you know, it's almost like how those, um, I guess you call them farmers, braise their, uh, what is it, their cows or something they do. They braise them with an emblem. Or, you know, like you can go, like I said, um, fraternities and sororities, mostly fraternities. With the guys, they get branded in their skin of their uh, sorority name and initials or something to that degree. And it doesn't go away. You're right. It does not go away. All right? It's permanent. When you get the uh, branding into your skin, that's serious. Uh-huh. Got to watch for infections and all that stuff. But, like I said, he a nut. She a nut. He did it. Uh, he wasn't coerced to do it, I'm sure. He, uh, hopefully he wasn't drunk at the time when he called himself going up there, branding himself with Kim's uh, name and her children's names. I mean, that's permanent. Yes, 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 yes. That's permanent right there. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. It's called uh, What Can Go Wrong When You're Messing With Any Other Kardashians. Okay? A lot. Let me tell you that. A lot. I'm sure Pete Davis could tell you a little story uh, or two about being intimate and being in a relationship with Kim Kardashian. Because she got this brother branding himself. Now, he, that's all he can see. It's her. He just had to wear turtlenecks, I guess. <laughs> a sweater, honey. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. And you share my videos. And, of course, you know I always invite my family to get down in those comments and make their plea known about subject topic okay and then i'll see y'all on the next video okay bye-bye